One of the biggest mistakes that entrepreneurs make is they overcomplicate their founder's story. Hi, I'm Lynn Graff, and I help founders create and tell great stories. What you have to understand is that people crave simplicity in business as well as life. In the book, Simple, Conquering the Crisis of Complexity, it states that 80% of people surveyed want simplicity in their life. And what founders tend to do is they're putting too much information in their founder's story, or they're adding details that really don't matter, or sometimes just deviating on tangents that really don't add to the value here. And what that causes is that it increases barriers to understanding, it's this complexity that creates unwanted friction in your story, and then it reduces the chances that they're going to listen or care because they've already lost interest. What you want to do is remove those buzzwords, jargon, and acronyms, and get rid of those tangents that don't really relate to what you're doing. And lastly, think about deleting the details that don't enhance the story. One of my favorite entrepreneurs, Bert Jacob, he's a founder of Life is Good, has this principle that he learned when he first started the business, and they're a $100 million company. He says, we're going to take any story or any really big business idea, and we're going to go find a fourth grader, and we're going to tell it to them. If that fourth grader can understand your story, boom, you're good to go. If they can't, you got to work on it. So next time you're working on your founder's story, remove those unnecessary details, make sure it's simple to understand, and go find a fourth grader to help you make sure your story is really good.